heard you say Meet you in the long grass Hello, this is Michelle Knight and welcome to your June 2016 Astrology. This month is very powerful at the end of the month as we have Mars, the planet of action, going direct at long last. You may have felt sort of a little bit down, a little bit dragged backwards or having to relive a lot of stuff to do with the past, but all that energy is finally moving forward. So here's your monthly astrology. Don't forget to like, subscribe or share. I so appreciate it. This is the astrological update for Capricorn for the whole of June 2016. Now there are two lots of energy assailing you this month. Firstly, you're going to be thinking about your health, your, your well-being, your work, your service to others. And then as the month moves on, it'll all be about relationships and connections and you feeling the love. But let's start at the beginning. We have a new moon in your position of health and well-being and it's a, new, it's a new start for you. You may be thinking, I've got to get my body in order, I've got to get my mind in order, I've got to find balance in my life, and this new moon is going to help you. It's taking you to the next level. It's also allowing you to leave bad habits behind or, or things that weren't healthy for you. You can make a new commitment to you and your health and well-being. Now, it is opposing Saturn, and, and interestingly, unusually, Saturn is in a, a, a position for you of um, feeling kind of a bit dreamy and like you you want things you want your your soul to be happy you want to commit to your soul's journey and part of that might be that you're finding happiness through being a bit wild at the moment or doing things that are you know exciting you but not necessarily good for you so Saturn is maybe even saying to you you know what you can live a dreamy lifestyle but also be healthy and maybe these two aren't fighting but they're both giving you a message about how to be happy because if your soul is happy your body will automatically want to be happy too and vice versa now we do have sun conjunct venus which is a, a lovely thing it creates positivity in relationships and you that's a bunch of crows flying overhead as we speak trying to get involved what do they call that? A murder of crows, anyway. Yes, there may be a murder if they carry on. Joking. We do have this sense of renewed faith, happiness and joy when it comes to relationships. But you also want to get it right. You may be analysing your romantic relationships. You may be trying to hopefully improve yourself so you've got more balance. But the spotlight is on health and well-being when it comes to your relationships. We then have Mercury going into that position. Now, the only downside of that position is it can sometimes make us critical, self-critical and critical of other people. And when Mercury is in that position, it may be that we expect everybody to stick to what they've said to the letter. And life isn't always like that. And, you know, if we become too strong on that, we can lose the magic or another opportunity. So try and stick to your own commitments, but don't, try not to be critical of yourself or other people. We then have Venus, the planet of love, shifting the energy, thank goodness, into your personal relationships. Now, when Venus is in that position, it's great for love. It means you're feeling the opposite of what you've just been feeling. In fact, you're now feeling that you can compromise, that you want peace, that you want tranquility, that you want to be able to share equally with someone. And it's great for drawing love to you. We also have Mercury entering that position. Suddenly you go from being self-critical and maybe insecure and over-analytical to on the, on the 29th feeling that you're able to express yourself and you're particularly able to share your love and your affection. Funnily enough, Mars, the planet of action, is also going direct on that day. You may have had squabbles, intense situations with people from the past or you were entangled with something that you didn't want to be entangled with. And now you're meeting new people, you're passionate about a new cause, whatever that is, and you're also re-energised. Finally, Venus is opposing Pluto and Pluto is in your sign. And it's like the universe may be saying, are there any things that you need to change to be able to be truly happy in your current relationship or in a new relationship or even in your relationship with yourself? 
And as you've le learned over the past couple of years, Pluto doesn't take any prisoners. So all you need to do is be honest with yourself, honest about what you desire, honest about your fears, particularly when it comes to love. Surrender a little bit. I know Capricorns don't like that word. And boom, there's huge transformation in love this month. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.